Okay, now we would like to write about our first program. Okay, I should have said first programs because we are going to explore three kind of uh, programming language. Uh, one is we call a Ruby Sony Pi, which allow us to uh, to create some music through this language environment. Okay, fantastic. Okay. And the second one will be the, uh, I think that the Python, okay, Python. Uh, Python, uh, there's a lot of ways to, to, to run the Python, to write a Python. I want to use a simplest one by using a, a terminal, kind of interact with the Python interpreter, okay. And the last one, uh, I think that I'm thinking about the JavaScript, right? How can I use a JavaScript? JavaScript, okay. And yeah, there are different ways, but now I would like to use a very uh, relevant to our course. Uh, we are going to use a P5.js uh, online editor, okay. So it will be a web editor, and also web uh, developing environment IDE, integrated development uh, environment. Okay, in Sony Pi, when we run the Sony Pi, there will its own IDE and I uh, editor. Okay, so uh, in the following. Uh, I will switch to, uh, between those uh, programming environment and then uh, you'll be noticing how I do it. Okay, so first let's do uh, Sony Pi. So I'm kind of uh, enter the so into the Sony Pi environment and you can see uh, there's a lot of button round stuff, something like this. But this area is we call a coding area. You can type your code, okay? For example, I type a print uh, hello, and I hit the run button. Oh, you got the arrow. Why? Why? <laughs> okay, that's the interpreter, okay? So I, uh, if you want to fix it, or you need to know, oh, this is a string, or you put a quote string. You can see the log information will show the hello. But is Sony Pi good for print out something? Hmm, Sony Pi teacher, you said that Sony Pi to play the music. Let's try play music, okay? Play music. How can I control the note? How can I control the sound? Okay, we have a couple of ways. Okay. If you know you uh, a little bit music theory, you know the door, right? Door. I'm going to teach you. Maybe you can type this. Colon C and run. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Do you see the waveform? Yeah. I run it again. Yeah. This is the simplest <laughs> version of the Sony Pi you play the door. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to our second. Uh, we are going to do with the Python. Okay, so uh, now you can see a terminal. Okay, if you are a Windows user, you can use a CMD window uh, command line. You after you install the Python environment. Uh, you can type a Python. Okay, the current version uh, is the Python three. So, uh, if you install Python and cannot run, uh, you can switch to the Python three. Okay, now you can see I enter into a kind of um, very weird only text mode, uh, but uh, 
just don't worry. Maybe print. Uh, in Sony Pi, we, we try print. But here, we try print. Uh, print. Maybe C. <gasps> Why things work in the Sony Pi, but doesn't work in the Python? Okay, first, you got the trace back. Okay, that's an error message. Uh, every programming language have uh, their own way to to uh, <laughs> frustrate you. Okay, <laughs> to throw you back like, some error message. Okay, this is why you need to kind of learn and reference some uh, uh, syntax. Okay, or API. You can do it online. Okay. So let's try print. Hi, I'm a Python learner. Okay, I'm a Python learner. <laughs> still, still error. What? What's? What happened? Oh, did you mean print? Oh, you are missing parentheses. Okay, parentheses. Okay, we are now mm, kind of learning print. Okay, hi, I'm a Python learner. <laughs> what happened? Okay, I'm missing. I'm missing this. <laughs> I saw that I put the uh, right parenthesis. Okay, well, I'll do it again. Okay, <laughs> print. I hi hello. I am okay. I even type Chinese. Let's try. Ah, okay. Yeah, they interact with me. Okay, I ask him to do something. Uh, he print out just simple uh, output uh, text information. Okay, this is your very first Python program. Okay, although in this interaction mode, you uh, just uh, test some command. You you uh, actually don't save. Use the editor to save the file. Okay, this is a one way to explore some programming language. Okay, you can quit, quit. You can do exit, exit. Okay, and then they will turn back to the return back to the terminal mode. Okay, very very uh, simple, no special graphical interface. Yeah, this is actually I recommend you use it as a beginner of the Python. Of course, there are tons of tools to do that. Uh, some like a web uh, programming environment. OK, the third one, I think that we're going to experience a little bit JavaScript. OK, JavaScript. Hmm. So inside uh, the web, OK, and you go to uh, P5 Jazz. We'll be talking in more detail. You just go to the JavaScript uh, P5 Jazz editor. Editor. Come on, what happened? <laughs> A little bit sluggish in network. What happened? Okay, so this environment a little bit look like a uh, uh, Sony Pi, but in a very, very different way because this is your editing area, this is your uh, console uh, where the message can be printed out. This is a preview, okay? And the run button uh, is here. So let's try, uh, for example, I would like to draw a box, okay? Line. Is this a line? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> uh, now, by default, okay, in this code, uh, this environment already provide you a, a basic skeleton to to draw some visual art. Okay, 
Of course, you can delete it, but we are going to use it and run it. Okay, you can see uh, there's a canvas uh, display here, but now I would like to draw something about it on it. Okay, what about rectangle? Uh, 10, 10, uh, 50, 50. No, it doesn't look like rectangle. What does what is this? Maybe width a little bit larger. Okay. Do. Wow. Okay. It's quite easy, right? You are giving a command to draw something upon it. Okay. So this is what we call a web developing environment. Okay. So now you experience the uh, three types. <laughs> I do it deliberately because there's a there's a lot of different ways of doing things. Okay, uh, in SonicPy we use is a application IDE. In Python we use a, the <laughs> simplest one, just the interactive mode using the terminal, and with the JavaScript we go on the web. Okay, because the JavaScript is a kind of web client-side programming language okay isn't it so those are the basic program your first programs <laughs> your first programs i hope you can experiment your own environment okay i'll see you very soon bye bye